I've taken two similar questions, one from the miscellaneous exercise, chapter four, uh, chapter five, question 10, and from the same chapter, example 10. They're very similar. Let's see if I begin with solving this one, the first one. So we are going to consider this function, let's say, we are going to consider this to be, say, a first as x raised to the power x as u, and uh, x raised to the power a as v, and uh, say a raised to the power x as say w, and finally it is a raised to the power a, say it is z. And considering this whole to be y, so I can write therefore y is equal to u plus v plus w plus z. Now, now if I differentiate both sides with respect to x, then it's going to be dy by dx, which you have to find out should be equal to du by dx plus dv by dx plus dw by dx and finally it is dz by dx. So clearly in order to find dy by dx, we have to find these. Now taking one at a time, for example, if I start with the u here and u clearly you can see it is x raised to the power x. Now for this, in order to solve this part, I'll be applying log both sides. So applying log both sides, it is x log, right? I'm writing in a reverse order. Let me first write on. So if I write as it is u is equal to, it is u. u is equal to x raised to the power x. Applying log both sides is going to be log u is equal to x log x. Now if I differentiate here with respect to x, so it's going to be 1 by u du by dx. Here I'm going to apply product rule. Derivative of x is 1 times log x plus the x copied and derivative of log x is 1 by x. So I can reduce it and write it as 1. Further, if I transpose u to the other side, so it's going to be du by dx is equal to u, right? And u is can be substituted as x raised to the power x. So I'm writing this as x raised to the power x, a bracket here, and this is 1 plus log x. This is 1 plus log x. So we got this as a equation 1. Now, once we have done this, I'm going to consider the, the other function, that is this one. So here we can see that v is equal to x raised to the power a. So its differentiation, say dv by dx, no need to take log. I can write this, applying this property as x raised to the power n, the differentiation is n x raised to the power n minus 1. So it's going to be a right, x raised to the power, that is n, x raised to the power n minus 1, that is a minus 1. So this would be equation 2. Now for the next part, I can do it here. This is uh, a raised to the power x. So that is w is equal to a raised to the power x. So if I use this uh, as w is equal to a raised to the power x. Now we should know that uh, differentiation of w is uh, dw by dx with respect to x. And this is important for differentiation of a raised to the power x is so differentiation of a raised to the power x is a raised to the power x log a. So I'll be writing this as a raised to the power x log a. Now we got this differentiation of this part. Now what next we have? Let's say if I make a gap here. Now we have to find for this. This is left. So this is what? This is uh, z is equal to a raised to the power a. So this is dz by dx. You should know that these are uh, arbitrary constant and for like say if I say 7 raised to the power 7 or maybe say 3 raised to the power 3. So this is what? 
a constant and the differentiation of constant is zero. So this is going to be equal to zero. So maybe this is third and this being fourth. Now we are going to plug in these values over here on this function, on this uh, uh, equation, right? So we can now say directly that is uh, dy by dx. First is du by dx. du by dx is this. So it's going to be x raised to the power x, 1 plus log x, plus this is dv by dx, dv by dx is this, which is a x raised to the power a minus 1, plus dw by dx, this is dw by dx, that is a raised to the power x log a, and finally, this is dz by dx, which is 0. So we may not write this. And we'll say that this would be our final answer. That means this will be our final answer for this.